Today's adventure starts at the frog pond. Tadpoles. For today's nature class, we shall be studying the pond. Ooh. Some creatures live on land, like elves. Oh. Some creatures live in water, like fish. Ah. Others live in water and on land, like... <laughs> frogs! Good, Ben. Who can tell me what frogs like to eat? Ice cream! Ho, oh, oh. ho! No, Princess Holly. Does anyone else know? Is it flies? Correct, Barnaby. Frogs eat flies. <laughs> Would you like to see where frogs come from? Yes, yes! Very well. Here we are. Ooh. Frogs lay eggs called frog spawn. They don't look like frogs. Oh, oh. we'll have to wait a few days to see. Now... Who's going to look after our frog spawn? I will. Really, Princess Holly? Yes, please. <laughs> Very well. I'll help you take them home to the little castle. Hooray! <laughs> da da da, do da di da, da da la la. Da dum di da, da la la di da da da. Nanny Plum, Nanny Plum. Hello, Princess Holly. How did your lesson go? It was great. We learned all about frog spawn, and I've got some homework to do. That's very nice. Hello, Nanny Plum. Where do you want the frog spawn? Goodness me, frog spawn. You always said I should learn more about nature, Nanny. Yes. But I didn't expect it to be in my kitchen. It was great today, Mummy. We learned all about frogs and I've got some homework to do. That's nice, darling. Good night. Good night, Mummy. Morning time! <laughs> Good morning, frog spawn. Oh, where did those little fish come from? Those aren't fish, Holly. They're tadpoles. Hello, tadpoles. Uh, what are tadpoles, Nanny? They're baby frogs. They hatched from the frog spawn. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert on frogs. By tomorrow, they'll have changed again. Ooh. They start off as frog spawn and then they get little fishy tails and they're called tadpoles. Oh, oh, you seem to know an awful lot about frogs. Nanny's teaching me all about them. Do you like frogs, Daddy? Of course. As long as they keep to their pond and don't bother anyone, they can be a bit slimy and disgusting. <laughs> Daddy! Good night, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, tadpoles. <gasps> the tadpoles have got legs. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, Holly, but it'll be even more amazing later. Ooh. Mummy, I want to show you something. What is it, Holly? Come and see. <gasps> I can't see my tadpoles anymore. Tadpoles? They must be invisible. Nanny, did you do a spell on them? No, Holly. So where are they? <coughs> oh, dear. I think the king has found them. <coughs> where did this come from? <coughs> really? What a fuss over such a little creature. <coughs> <coughs> Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. 
Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben. Um, hello. Good night, Roggies. <laughs> Good morning, Ben. Are you coming out to play, Holly? I'm a bit busy, Ben. I'm playing with my frogs. Frogs? <laughs> This one's very good at running and jumping. I've called him Ben. Oh. See you later. OK. Bye. <sighs> do something about these frogs, please, Nanny Plum. Mm. They do seem to be getting bigger and noisier. If they're smaller, perhaps they'll be quieter. Slimy eaters of flies shrink to half your size. Oh, they're smaller, but somehow I seem to have made more of them. Shall I try the spell again? Ah, uh, maybe not. Froggy, froggy. <laughs> Frogs belong in water. Yes, Daddy. Daddy says frogs belong in water, so let's magic the courtyard into a paddling pool. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, flop. <laughs> there you go, froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Oh, no. Sorry, Froggies. Holly Thistle, did you do this? Yes. Daddy, you said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. <coughs> Shoo. <coughs> uh. Hi, Ollie. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look, they're following us. <laughs> Hoopla! 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 Here we are! The pond! Well done, Ben. Thank goodness they're not in the castle anymore. But, Daddy, I'll miss them. Don't worry, Princess Holly. They'll come back to the castle one day. Why? Frogs always return to the place where they hatched to lay their eggs. Oh. Yippity dee da! <laughs> 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 
Today's adventure starts in outer space. Picnic on the moon! Woohoo! <laughs> Elf rocket to mission control! In a few minutes, we will land on the moon. Very good, Mr. Elf. You are on target to land in the Sea of Tranquility. Lovely. Once we're at the seaside, we can eat our picnic. Oh, Nanny Plum, for the last time, we are not going for a picnic. Why not? Because this is a serious elf mission to the moon. We can still have a picnic. Ready, everyone? We are about to go where no elf has gone before. Or fairy. Oh, yes, sorry, Holly. We are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! Look how high I can jump! This is brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough funny business. Here's my timetable for the mission. One, land on moon. Done that. Two, plant the flag. I am now king of the moon. Plant the flag. Done. Three, go back home. But what about the picnic? And you missed out the seaside. Yes. Where's this sea of tranquility? I fancy a paddle. Oh, the sea of tranquility doesn't have water in it. It's full of sand. But where do the aliens go when they want to swim? Aliens? Nanny Plum said there might be aliens on the moon. <laughs> well, that's just a fairy story. <laughs> bleep, bleep. Ah, an alien! Uh, hello? Aliens! Amazing! Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, that's nice. He's saying hello. Can you speak alien, Nanny? No. This is Mission Control. What's going on up there? We just met an alien. Amazing. This is an historic, momentous occasion. This is the biggest thing to happen ever. Do you think he'd like a cheese sandwich? Danny Plum, we do not celebrate historic meetings with a cheese sandwich. Maybe the aliens can show us where the seaside is. There is no sea on the moon, only sand. We can still build sand castles. Yes. <laughs> Bingo! No! Don't start digging up the moon. You'll upset the aliens. <laughs> Look! The aliens love building sand castles. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> Hungry. Me too. Time for the picnic. No! Magic basket, please. Ah, magic! Nanny Palum, are you waving your magic wand around? I haven't got my wand, remember? It wasn't allowed on your silly elf mission. Ah, yes. Anyway, the magic picnic basket doesn't need a wand to work. You just ask it for what you want. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Yippee! Hooray! And now for pudding. Magic jelly! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, we don't want another jelly flood. Oh, it'll be fine. Nanny Plum, I want you to think very carefully about what you are doing. Whatever. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly! What's it doing? Oh, no! I forgot to say, not a lot. Ah! Jelly blood! Nanny! That's too much jelly! Oh, dear. Jelly, jelly blood! What's happening? Yeah. Nanny Plum has flooded the Sea of Tranquility with jelly. <gasps> Nanny Plum! All the maps of the moon will have to be changed. 
The sea of tranquility is now the sea of jelly. Sorry. Sorry? The aliens will be very upset. <laughs> jelly! But the aliens <laughs> like the jelly. They're eating it all up. <laughs> they love it. I'd better make some more. Magic bath. No! Nanny Plum, I forbid you to make any more jelly on this mission. But look at the aliens' sad little faces. They're still hungry. No more magic jelly. OK. <laughs> I was looking forward to having a bit of jelly myself. Oh. Nanny, we can't eat the picnic anyway. Our space helmets are in the way. That's the last straw. No water in the sea and we can't eat food. What kind of picnic is this? It's not a picnic! OK, let's go home. Nanny Plum's right. It's time to go. Well, that's what I've been saying. Bye-bye, aliens! Bye! Bye-bye! I like aliens. Yes, they're lovely. Everybody get ready for takeoff. I will set the controls for... Oh! What is it? Fuel tank is empty. Ah, we seem to be out of fuel. What does that mean? We are stuck on the moon forever! Oh, no! What? What's wrong? I put enough fuel in the rocket to get to the moon, but I forgot about getting back. Oh, dear. That was a bit silly. Yes. Yes, it was very silly. It's all because of your little elf rules. If you'd let us bring our fairy ones, we could have used magic to get us back. But, of course, There's someone... been quite enough magic for one day with that picnic basket of yours. I didn't mean to make so much magic jelly. Magic jelly! Of course! Danny Plum, listen carefully. I want you to put the magic basket into the fuel tank. Why? There's no time for questions. Just do it. Here's the fuel tank, Nanny Plum. Now, ask the magic basket for jelly. What? But you said no more magic jelly. Remember? Yeah, I know I did, but this is an emergency. OK. How much jelly do you want? A lot. Rightio. What? How will that help? The jelly comes out of the magic basket at amazing speed. <laughs> we can use the power of jelly to make the rocket fly back home. If I'd said that, you'd say I was being silly. But it's not you saying it. It's me. And the wise old elf is very wise, Nanny Plum. I suppose he is a bit clever. OK, let's give it a go. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly! Lots, lots, lots! Oh, hang on, everyone! Please land the elf rocket in the frog pond. Right ho! Where are they? <gasps> there they are! Stand back, everyone. and Holly. <laughs> <laughs> we flew to the moon and back. The mission was a complete success. Thanks to the wonders of elf cleverness. Thanks to my magic jelly, you mean. What? Without my magic jelly, we'd still be on the moon. Now, now, Nanny, let's not argue over the little details. Let's just say 
elf skill got us to the moon, and fairy magic got us home. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Books. But the witch had eaten too much cake and fallen asleep. So the fairy tiptoed past the sleeping cat, waved her wand, Abracadou, Abracadi, unfreeze the children and set them all free. And in a flash, the witch's spell was undone. As the sun came up and the stars went away, all of the children found themselves safely back in their beds. The end. Mummy, why did the witch freeze all the children? Oh. I don't know. Maybe the witch didn't like the noise the children made and just happened to know a spell for freezing them. Yes, thank you, Nanny Plum. Not eating for a year and a day must have made the children very hungry. No, the witch had frozen them solid, like frozen peas. Now, frozen peas don't get hungry, do they? No. Queen Thistle, where do the stars go in the daytime? I'm sorry, Ben. You said the sun came up and the stars went away. But where did the stars go? Uh, well, let's see what the book says. Hmm. It doesn't say where the stars went. Nanny Plum, do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, no. Oh. oh. Perhaps we should ask King Thistle. He knows how the world works. Yes. Let's go and ask Daddy. <laughs> Enter! Daddy, Daddy, can we ask you a question? Yes, of course, Holly. What is it? Can you tell us where the stars go in the daytime? <laughs> what? Where do the stars go when the sun comes up? Well, they go. Yes, they go. <laughs> I'm actually rather busy at the moment, Holly. Our storybook said the stars went away. But it didn't say where they went. Oh, I see. Well... There are plenty of books in the Royal Library. One of them might have the answer. Good idea, Queen Thistle. Come on, everyone. <laughs> It's very untidy in here. That's because these are magic books. You are very naughty books. Flying about and fidgeting. Chop, chop. Go sort yourselves out. A, B, C. Neatly, please. How do we find what we're looking for? These are magic books. You just ask them. Excuse me, books. Where do the stars go in the daytime? Do you have anything about stars at all? Ooh, look at all the fancy writing. What does it say? Has it got the answer? It says, little star, we ask you to make our wishes all come true. Oh. It's just a spell for wishing on a star. Oh. oh, I think these magic books are only for making spells, not for answering questions. But Nanny, why don't you know the answer? I'm Nanny Plum, not an astrophysicist. Astrophysicist? What's that? Oh, it's just someone who knows a lot about stars and space and things. Elves know a lot about things. We could ask my mum and dad. Are your mum and dad astrophysicists? Uh, maybe. Let's go and see. Hello. Hello. My goodness. Mum, dad, are you astrophysicists? No. Oh, we're, we're elves. elves. <laughs> Do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, uh no. no. <sighs> Nobody knows the answer. Maybe we could ask the wise old elf. Yes, he's wise. He's old. 
And he's an elf. <laughs> this is the wise old elf's study where he thinks about things and is wise and stuff. Enter. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. How can I help you? Wise old elf, we have a question. The answer wasn't in our storybook. It's an elf question, not really a fairy matter. So we thought, as you are the wise old elf... Yes, of course. Ask me any question, anything at all. <coughs> Where do the stars go in the daytime? Uh, ask me another question. Uh, on sport, perhaps. You're not really wise, are you? You're just old. So, old elf, you don't know the answer? Er, uh, no. But I do know where to find it. Where? Follow me. Is it far? All of this searching for answers has made me a bit tired. We can take the lift. Mind the doors, please. Where are we going? We are going to the Great Elf Library. Great Elf Library, indeed. It's probably just a dusty old cupboard. Goodness me! Shh! This is a library. We must be quiet. Wow! It's huge! There are so many books here. How do you stop them flying about and fidgeting? These are not magic books, Your Majesty. Oh, well, how do you ever find what you are looking for, then? We ask the wise old librarian. So where is this wise old librarian? <clears throat> Can I help you? Are you the librarian? Yes. <clears throat> Do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, yes. The answer is in the astrophysics section, second row, reference 520.34. This way. But we already looked in books for the answer. What books did you look in? We looked in my storybook. And we looked in magic spell books. Well, there are different books for different things. There are books with stories in. Ooh, look, witches. And books about how things work. Wow, a rocket book. There are books about music. <gasps> oh, palm music for elves. My favourite. Books about animals. Oh, chickens. That's interesting. Books about vegetables. Oh, yes, I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah, here we are. A book on stars. Is this going to have the answer? Let's see. Is everybody comfortable? Yes, yes Queen Thistle. Oh. On clear nights, we can see the stars twinkling in the sky. The light we see from each star is tiny, the tiniest little spot of light. We can only see it because the sky is so dark. Black! The night sky is pure blackness. Yes, it is, Holly. But when the morning comes and the sun rises, the sky gets brighter and the stars disappear. But, Mummy, where do the stars go? They don't go anywhere. What? They're still shining in the sky. We just can't see them anymore because the sky is so bright. It's obvious. I knew that. And when the sun goes down and the sky gets darker, we can see the stars again. When the sun goes, of course. So, Daddy, where does the sun go? Well, it... Ah. Wise old elf? Oh, these books should answer that question, Your Majesty. Oof! Hooray! Shh! 
This is a library. We must be quiet. <laughs> 